This game is intensely atmospheric sometimes. For the good, holy. That is why you don't mess with the nighttime. That was terrifying. Let's uh, run, run our booties away. Hey there, Brewberries, what is up? And welcome to another episode of Valheim. So I just learned something. If you double click the map, that is how you add these stupid markers that are on the left. I had no idea and there's no instruction as to how to do that, but let's call this home. Man, oh man, that was, that was a journey. I had seriously no idea that that's how you did that, but that is okay. Today, we're gonna be going over here to where you see in the top right, it'll say we're in the meadows currently, and then Black Forest is right here. There's also Black Forest up here. We're gonna be traveling over to the Black Forest and look at how massive this map is. Ooh boy, we have quite the world to explore. But firstly, what I would like to do is I am wanting to upgrade some things. So firstly, the bow I think is necessary. And then I think we need some, uh, we need more leather in our deer hide and then this we need more leather so i'm gonna go ahead gather up some of that stuff because i would love to have a tier three bow and a tier three shield potentially even a tier three shield as well because that would be really nice so let me go ahead get some uh, resource gathering on hand and then i'll be back all right so we can upgrade a few things let's repair everything first let's get the bow upgraded i think that is necessary because a level three bow is going to be helpful in the damage department there we go and then a shield or axe hmm we do use the axe quite often so maybe what does it require we have two leather and this requires two leather as well you know what let's go ahead and actually do the flint axe. I think that is well worth it. We'll go ahead and upgrade the hammer might as well. And let's see. So in order to get the axe to level three, we need four and okay, you know what? I think that's good. We can get down a pretty big rabbit hole of doing that. Let's go ahead and eat some food and put some stuff away. Now, while I was uh, looking around for boar, I stumbled upon this little structure. Now, I have no honest idea as to what this is. Let's get some berries, yummy, yummy. Um, no idea what it is, but it looks like we are right on the cusp of the, like a mountainous biome. And I don't think we are fit for that right now, but, I hear bees. Yes, indeedy, I hear bees. Was that a chest? Could I have access to that? Oh, I do. I can. Okay. Uh, let's go check out this building. What is this? We've got some bad hombres here. What do you want with me, huh? Whoa, don't you throw a freaking rock at me, you jerk. Oh, there's many of them. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need to eat. Oh, there is... There are so many of them. Oh my... Yeah, get out of here, you jerks. Jiminy Christmas. That was so many bad dudes. But I hope the rewards are good. I really want to build in this stone. What is this? Stool? Let's open this up. Close it so we're safe. Any way to... Is there any, not anything in here? Oh, that's so troll. That's sad. All right. 
Well, this is kind of cool, this little build right here. But I guess there's nothing here. Is there anything? What is this? Is this... Okay, so this is Black Forest. All right, so there's Black Forest right here as well. That makes sense as to why those gray dwarfs were there. All right, and so right where the snow begins, I'm guessing that is where the mountain biome begins. And so, yeah, I'm kind of curious. If I build this here and missing a required crafting station, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm I'm assuming I need a certain level of crafting station in order to, to be able to work with the stone. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, can I take this? Ooh, that was a good call. I'm glad I've destroyed that. We got tin. How much tin? Tin ore, unrefined, needs to be refined in the smelter. Cool, so we got two tin. Nice, all right. So I guess that way, whoa, I heard, I heard. Yeah, there you are, Hugh, how's, he, how's it going? You have found some ore. Raw ore needs to be refined in the smelter before you can work at the forge. To build a smelter, you'll need certain cores. Search for them in dark places beneath the earth. Interesting. Ooh, what type of berries are these? Blueberries. Cool. I wonder if, I wonder if there's any way to plant things. Like I, I've not ever seen any way or found any way to plant stuff so this is meadows 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 and then i'm guessing all of that is black forest where the trees change okay all right that makes sense so we've got the raspberries here in the meadows blueberries grow in the uh black forest and okay awesome we're starting to get a good lay of the land and i think we have a really solid Really solid. Oh, this dude. Oh, no. Get out of here. All right. Now let's kill that one. All right. We're starting to get a really solid lay of the land here. And that's really exciting because ah, a bunch of gray dwarfs over there. And that may not be a gray dwarf. That may just be a regular dude. Um, I really like where we are where we're living i kind of want to live up there more so i may tear this down and move there get over here piggy yeah bring it on let's shoot these guys take that take that bada bing bada boom all right now we may have enough leather to actually do something that i want to do all right so what i want to make is I think I want to make a flint spear. And how much does this? This takes four. Man, we are so close to being able to make both of these. I want to know if they unlock anything. So with flint spear, I think it's going to be just a good weapon to use because uh, I kind of just want to be able to have a weapon so we don't stop using the ax so, so much. Um, it's not necessarily bad, but so wait, hold on. One one thought at a time. One thought at a time. One thought at a time. What was I looking for? The flint knife. Okay, so we need one more flint. Gosh darn it! All right, let me get another flint knife. All right, as the sun sets, let us finally repair everything and then build this flint knife. Let's see what this is all about. What is the flint knife? Anything, anything unique at all? Oh, I guess it's just kind of quick. Maybe we'll use the knife and see what happens. The spear seems interesting and the knife seems interesting. So maybe we'll use that, but let's get a good night's sleep. Oh, we're wet. Okay, now let's sleep. What are we doing for the majority of today? Well, what I would like to do is move on over here to where the black forest begins. We've got plenty of food, plenty of room, and I don't need to deal with you neck, you jerk. Um, I would like, there was a tin deposit that was actually just over here, but what we need to do is we need to find one of those crypts 
And uh, I would say let's get let's get our knife out. Let's test out the knife. So that that is a deposit of ore right there, and I would imagine that is too. Um, but now we're in the Black Forest, and this gets a little sketchy because everything here just wants to kill me, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. But I'm trying to find some... They're like underground things. Is this a runestone thing? Yes, it is. What does this say? Let all who read me beware of the gray dwarfs, the skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rot and rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There's nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up peat into the... Oh my goodness, I don't want to read all of this. Or put it to the torch for it fears the flame. Well, we do have torches, so that's good. Um, so there is... There's something. So there's a great couple gray dwarves. All right, so there's one down. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see here. Come here, come here. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. Let's chest out the spear. All right, the spear's better. <laughs> the spear does more damage. Come here, bro. Yeah, the spear is just so fast. What is this building, too? This is interesting. What is this? Oh, good night. What are you? There's a big boy in here. Hello? Oh, wow. Uh, I guess... Ah, it's a gray dwarf brute but he seems to be stuck so that's pretty convenient let's use some fire arrows i think that'll be helpful let's go in for the kill whoa all right maybe we don't go in for the kill maybe we just shoot him actually let's let's oh i already i wasted it and dead boy okay interesting what in the world was this Vigvisar the elder whoa okay so there's the elder interesting okay so we oh, okay we found the the elders location I don't really think the elder is what we want to fight well maybe it is i don't know i i have no idea but this is not what i was intending on finding uh what did we pick up there stone some resin all right so uh, i guess we continue on in i'm really glad that we did not try to let's eat a mushroom i'm really glad that i did not try to take oh that's what we're searching for that right there yes one of those things Sweet, I'm so glad that that was right next to it. Okay, cool. So these are sort of these like skeletal remain things. As you can see, there's some skeleton bone things. Oh, there's some uh, resources down there as well. Let's pick up that bone and deer hide cape. Interesting. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and go on in. Oh, troll cave. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't. I'm not going in a freaking troll cave. That just seems such a, like, such a bad idea. All right, so I've marked it on my map because I do not think that we can handle a troll cave right now. I'll try and do a little bit of research online to maybe see, but I, even then, actually, I'm not going to do research online. I think this is what we... I really hope this is... Yes, 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 yes. There are skeletons outside. I think this is going to be good. Hello there. Oh, jeez. These guys hurt. Run away.
Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. We got bone fragments. We got absolutely slapped. All right, so these guys probably need blunt damage. Treasure lies below. Delves and dungeons can be found across the tenth world. They are monuments of the past and most often filled with riches in civ of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. Nice. Okie dokie. Where's the sun at? Is it getting dark? I can't tell what time it is. Alright, let's mark this right here. Uh... Let's just say cave, I guess. I don't know. Um, and let's go back. I think I want to get some blunt damage because in basically every game I've ever seen, uh, bony dudes generally... Let's see, let's, where's our house at? Right there. Okay. Uh, generally, it would seem that bone-based enemies generally suffer uh, consequences of blunt-based damage because of not really having anything to block the damage, I guess. Crushing damage type of stuff. Oh, thistle. What is thistle? Interesting. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll take some thistle. So let me go ahead and I'm going to go and uh, craft up a blunt-based weapon and then... Uh, we'll go back in and try and tackle that cave. All right, I decided instead, why not just YOLO it and get on in here. All right, so we got some mushrooms, it would seem, and I, I'm i gonna try to turn, can we, is there a way to turn the brightness up at all? Not really, no. All right, there doesn't seem to be any way for me to... Oh, I hear something. I'm gonna go down this route first. All right, what's in here? Any baddies? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Okay, well, yeah, definitely need to eat. Let's close this door. What's in here? A ruby and amber. Interesting. We don't have tons of room in the old inventory here. Ancient seed held against your ear. You can hear a tiny whispering. Ooh, weird. Okay, can we build in here? We can. That's kind of strange. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab these mushrooms. And there are some creepy sound effects happening. And I think it's in this room, maybe. Oh, gosh. There we go. Man, this is tight quarters. All right, so nothing, nothing in here. All right, let's keep, keep on going. I guess we go down this way here. Baddies in here. I hear bad guys. I don't know. Yeah, get blocked. Oh, it's a ghost? That's weird. It's not really doing much in the ways of damage. That was weird. I don't know how to feel about that, but oh, here we are. Certainly cores. That's what uh, Hugh told us we needed, isn't it? More amber. Okay, and I think that little sound I'm hearing. So we need certainly core, certainly core, and we're out of room. There we go. So how many certling cores do we need for crafting? So we need five for the smelter 
and five. So we need 10 in total. Jiminy. All right. I don't think we're going to get 10 from just this. So we're going to have to continue traveling. And there's no way to go down here. So it looks like we explored all our own this way. So I guess let's go this way. Anything here? Ah, skeleton. Looks like if you rush them, you kind of get like a crit modifier going. Oh, the ghost. Get out of here, man. Get this ghost stuff out. I'm going to close that door. I'm glad they're stupid and can't actually <laughs> open doors and stuff. Take that. There we go. All right, more certling stuff. That is good, good, good. Awesome. Lots of bones, lots of bones. That's good for upgrading things. All right, how many are we at now? We're just at five. Okay, so we need five more. I really doubt that we're going to get enough, but we will have, we will soon have enough. Okay, we can go down this way. All right. Got the block off. Did not get the block off there. Oh, that's a spawner thing. There we go. All right, so that's what that is. It's kind of like a spawner. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. Certling cores, okay, and then we got a ruby it would seem and then golly so much good stuff Can't take the flower. Oh another certling core. All right. We are one shy. Are you kidding me? Man. All right. Just take the stone. I don't need that. We are one shy. Can I get rid of that? No, okay I really really hope there's one more in here man because I I just I don't want <laughs> to find another one of these. Okay. So we have this entire area right here to go through. So let's go ahead and nom ourselves some veggies and stuff. What is that sound? All right. These are, it's so tight, man. Such a tight, so tight quarters. Whoa. Rancid remains. Woo. That was rough, man. Not a fan of the rancid remains, not at all. Oh boy. All right, I'm going to wait here for a moment to get my health up. All right. I uh, I have my shield out for this one because I think we're going to need it. Nice, nice. Okay, that dude poisons, which sucks. All right, there's this dude. Yeah, this game is all about parrying. All right, sweet. So now we can eat some food, and I do not have... I think the shield is good. I know you guys can't see a thing, I'm sure. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Well, that destroyed destroyed my torch so sorry but we are not going to continue with it oh there's a spawner 
Let's get rid of the evil bones. There we go. Now we should be good. Awesome. Oh, and we have so many certain cores. Nice. We're going to have plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Awesome. And then let's grab all this stuff except the feathers because we can't carry it. Oh, sweet. This is great. We have one final room, and I know, I am sorry, you guys cannot see, but we are going to tackle this last room together. All right, and that's it. Okay, sweet. We are done. Get me out of here. I'm sure it is like nighttime or something. I went ahead and built a campfire in here because uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, I'm kind of curious if we gather some wood, could I make a bed? Doesn't look, well, yeah, I could if I had eight wood. All right, let's check outside and hope that it's not nighttime. Oh boy. It is indeed nighttime. All right, we're gonna have to run our way home. Let's get out of here. This is creepy. I do not like it at nighttime. The game even warns you, you probably shouldn't play around with the night. And uh, so I am not looking to be doing that. Let's get uh, down here to the shoreline where I know what to follow because I can't see a freaking thing. This game is intensely atmospheric sometimes for the good. Holy. That is why you don't mess with the nighttime. Huh. All right, that was terrifying. Let's uh, run, run our booties away. Oh, I didn't even see that dude. <laughs> Let's hope that brute dude is not following us. Okay, there's a boar. We're back in meadows. That's good. We're back in the meadows. Oh, I just legit ran past my house because I couldn't see a thing. There it is. We're home. Oh, nighty night. What a good rest. I swear, if that stupid brute dude is chasing us, I'm going to be highly upset. Sounds like something's attacking our base. What? What is it? What? You jerks. Boy, look at this haul. 10 certling, 12 certling total. Man, we didn't get any tin or anything, but we got enough to be able to start. Oh, let me let me just repair this, you jerks. Oof, man. OK, so we need to start figuring out. Do we have honey in our inventory? Not at all. OK, we need to start figuring out what we are going. Where are we going to start putting stuff? I think we're going to do that next episode. We're going to do some moving around. I know I've already moved twice or once already but i'm thinking this is i want to take up this entire hillside and then up there as well uh, and so what i'm thinking is down in this area is going to be like our working area and then our house will oversee everything and we'll kind of make like a winding path that takes up onto the mountaintop there and then eventually we'll probably you know build like a castle or something that sounds like fun but we can make some cool stuff. All right, let's repair everything that we couldn't before. And let's see here. Miscellaneous, no. Furniture, no. Crafting, yes. So we need 20 stone and 20 stone. Okie dokie. And there we go. It's not the best placement, but it's the best that I could do for right now. And let's see what Hugh has to say here. You have built a smelter. Deposit your raw ore in this furnace and it will melt away all impurities, leaving you with a bar of refined metal to work at the forge. You will need coal to fuel the smelter. This can be produced building a kiln, which is right next to us. 
and we can load that with wood. Good thing that we have absolutely crap tons of wood. We are carrying way too much. Why did I grab that much? So if we just go on in and uh, fill this guy up, boom, that is gonna go ahead and start on a cooking. And then this is gonna need coal and we are ready to go. Good Lord, that scared me. And so I think the last thing for us to do is maybe go and mine one of those tin areas and uh, see if we can make either tin gear or, or something. I don't know. We've got some tin here. So why don't we throw that in the smelter and see what happens? All right, there's our tin. Did that unlock anything? I don't think I saw anything unlock. And nope, doesn't look like tin fully unlocks things. So maybe he did mention that we need to get some copper as well. So maybe we're gonna need to do that. But guys, I think that is gonna have to do it for this episode. I know it wasn't too, too crazy, but hey, we did get some of the smelting action going on. Next episode, let's focus on getting maybe some better gear. And uh, give me your ideas. What should we do with our house? Should we build it atop that cliff up there? Or should we keep it where it's at? Or should we do both? I don't even know. Uh, I'm thinking maybe next order of business and the base area is to maybe expand this. I almost want to get two of these guys. That may be overkill, but I kind of want to get two of them for fun. Um, and then I potentially want to rearrange this because while this storage does work, I think having a bigger storage building will be, be beneficial later on. So. Let me know what your thoughts are, because I kind of like having this crafting area down by the sea, um, but I really just don't have any idea. It's such an open game, and so so thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like in real life. If you're new here and you uh, enjoy Valheim, you enjoy Minecraft, that type of content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye